Hey everybody, it's Michael from theloftestparty.com. I hope this video finds you doing well and thriving. Now, if you're like me, you're about ready to knuckle under and call a chiropractor because uh, election 2020 and all these crazy news stories are giving you whiplash. You'll be looking at your phone, scrolling through, and then you'll see the most outrageous story about something that happened in the election and the voting. And you're just like, what? Huh? And you're looking around for somebody to tell, what did they? And, and that's when you go. It's like a dog in a room full of Frisbees all day long. You're just like, who won? I don't know. They're going to switch it. There was a glitch. What? Uh, North Carolina. I don't know. Arizona. How's it going? This guy won? No, I don't know. It's a software. Turn it back. No, a guy's going to testify. Wait, what? <laughs> it's too much. My neck can't take it anymore. And I'll tell you this, I have developed a serious case of election trust issues. There's just too much dubious stuff going on. I spend too many minutes going, hmm, hmm. That's not a good feeling. We have to be able to trust our elections. And when you have this much dubious behavior, you're just like, mm, mm, I'm not doing it. I can't, I can't sign off on this one. And then you got people on the left, they're like, you need to move on. Like Whoopi Goldberg. Whoopi Goldberg makes me laugh. <laughs> I, I enjoy her work. But she was out the other day like, hey, you need to suck it up and move on. Really? Really? Now, in events like this, when, when somebody tells me, I just need to suck it up and move on, and we're talking about the leader of the free world, there's a Latin phrase that, that comes to mind. A Latin phrase that goes something like this. Bitchius plesius, which loosely translated means, woman, I can't believe you would suggest such a thing. So, whoopee, bitchius plesius. I have election trust issues. There's too many just shadows of doubt. There are so many shadows of doubt. It's like a damn eclipse. Now, back in 2016, there was a shadow of doubt. Somebody was like, ooh, I think the president might have worked with the Russians. We have to stop everything and look into that. We have to satisfy ourselves and get answers. So we stopped everything because there was a shadow of a doubt. The president might have been working with the Russians. So they stopped everything. They did the Mueller report. It went for years and years. We spent like 32 million bucks to come up with <laughs> nothing. And then, oh, there's a whistleblower that heard something about a phone call with Ukraine. We gotta stop everything because this guy, Vindeman, Lieutenant Colonel Vindeman, heard something that might mean, and so we stopped everything and did an impeachment. So now we're talking about election 2020, picking the leader of the free world, and you have weird craziness getting reported like popcorn going off, giving me neck strains from trying to follow it at all, and you're telling me I need to move on? Bitchiest, pleasiest, we're looking into all of it. Me and my 72 million friends want a recount. We want an audit. I want to talk to software engineers. We're not going nowhere. We got to get this straight. We can't be a nation of people that got election trust issues. Really? You want us to believe dead people voted? This, there's a guy who gave a press conference and he's like, dead people will have voted yes. Like, th that shouldn't be a thing. That should never be a thing. My good, we have a space program. We're getting ready to send rockets back to Mars. And here you have an election official going, dead people will vote. No, no, they won't. There's too many glitches to go into. And all, oh, all the glitches that mysteriously go one way. Now, all the glitches go for Sleepy Joe. All of, I haven't heard of one glitch go for the Donald. So bitchiest, plesiest. There will be no moving on. Recount, audit, all of it. We gotta be able to trust the elections. Oh, and you know how you can do that? Voter ID and no vote by mail. This isn't a hard problem to solve. I'm for free and fair elections and everybody gets one vote, and however it shakes out, 
them's the apples. You gotta do something with them. I don't know if them's the apples is a real thing, but I'm gonna pretend like it was. Thanks for checking out the video. Subscribe. Them's the apples.